All right, I thought I'd uh, show you the Redverse tent with the bike inside. It takes like uh, 10 spikes to nail it down. Now, if you're going to put your bike in, you've really got to get this section taut. Um, I measured up here, it's about 54 inches from bar to bar. My bike is uh, 48 inches wide with the tires on. Then, once you get inside, you want to stay a little bit to the to the vestibule area in order to give you room to uh, enter and exit from here, which is not a big deal because you can enter and exit from the other side too. This is the big J door, and if you set your guide ropes right, you can fasten it right to the guide rope. I'm not sure exactly what the measurement is up here. I didn't measure it, but it's got the pre-set uh, straps, so it can only go so far, and they're not adjustable. And under here, I've got the extra floor mat. And since it's daytime, I've got the uh, privacy curtains rolled back in order to let the air free flow through. And I've got my banner with all my sponsors. Because, you know, I'm a superstar. This is the back door to get in. And, yeah, I can put all my gear in there if I want to, but... I've got the other garage, so I'm just kind of leaving it out. You also notice you've got about a six inch uh, height for uh, waterproofness. And nothing comes in from underneath. And you could actually set this down in six inches of water and it's not going to come up over the top of that. You got four guide wires on this end. And then. Uh, Two more here, one there, one there, just to keep it, uh, keep those ends done. You got the sides. So you got one, two, three guide wires on the side. You've got two mains on uh, on this door, and then you've got three more on this end. Oh, um, the other thing I wanted to show you. This is actually a tent inside of a tent. I don't know what this is made out of, but it doesn't penetrate through. The yellow is basically waterproof. However, you do get some uh, buildup inside there. I think that comes up out of the ground. So, yeah, this is a Redverse Series 2 Expedition tent. Your garage doors roll up, and they all come with the self fasteners. So, there's not really much you can lose. I think they give you 10 spikes in the original kit, and the guide wires are all attached. So you really don't have to mess with a lot of it. And it's got these uh, snaps that you snap onto the poles once you get the, the uh, curvature down, which holds that back. All in all, I'm very, very happy with it. The only other modification I had to do to the bike was tie the antenna down. And Mike had a piece of uh, parachute cord, so we tied it down with that. But yeah, quite impressive. Just have to make sure your bike fits inside those black stripes, square, or the rectangle, and you're good to go. And you can work on the bike inside of here. Wouldn't have a whole lot of room, but if it was raining out and you had to work on your bike, I think you'd be quite happy. So I'm going to throw some pictures up with this and uh, give you some better shots of it. The other thing I'm watching is as the wind hits it, it moves a little bit. But... Nothing insignificant.
Red River Series 2 Expedition Tent. It's about uh, 469 and you order the extra floor mats. I ordered two of them and uh, yeah, it's up around 500 bucks. The only other thing I want to get are the uh, awning poles so these things can come out straight out and uh, give you a little bit of shade if you want to hang out inside the vestibule out of the sun but we've got the garage so I'm not worried about it there she goes now she's moving a little bit pretty solid though and here come the pictures